On this week's episode, we're visiting the first and oldest surviving tavern in Ohio, the Old Tavern in Unionville, established in 1798, five years before Ohio became a state. It has seen many a war, from the American Civil War to the War of 1812, World War I and II, to today's conflicts. It once served as a stagecoach and mail stop on the Warren to Cleveland mail route. The tavern also served as a safe house on the Underground Railroad and likely inspired the character George Harris for Harriet Beecher Stowe's book, Uncle Tom's Cabin, after she once stayed here. The tavern also participated in a flower pageant for the opening ceremonies and parade for the inaugural Cleveland National Air Races in 1929. The old tavern is filled with history and great stories, so allow us to share a few of these with you today on this episode of History and Relics. The Old Tavern in Unionville, Ohio is identified as the first and oldest surviving tavern in Ohio. The building has stood for over 225 years and has served as a destination and gathering hub in Northeast Ohio. Specifically, the tavern has served as a stagecoach stop on the Cleveland to Buffalo Road, a post office, and an inn and restaurant. Most notably, the Old Tavern is a documented site on the Underground Railroad. Although the tavern has operated under different names, including being initially known as the Webster House, and has had many different proprietors, one thing has remained constant. In the traditional sense, as a tavern, the Old Tavern has served its community as a place for comfort, good food, and a unique venue where people can share experiences and celebrate life's many milestones. In 1798, a small single-room cabin was built to serve the needs of travelers along an Indian Ridge Trail in the frontier of the Connecticut Western Reserve. Within a few years, the tavern quickly expanded to meet the growing demand due to rapid expansion west. A second cabin was erected right next to the original, then shortly after, the two were joined to create a two-story salt box style house. In the mid-1800s, the tavern had expanded to a three-story dining and lodging facility complete with a large second-floor ballroom above the newly added Port Crochet. During the Civil War, the tavern hosted large gatherings in the ballroom in addition to continuing to offer lodging and food. Also during this same period, the tavern served as a safe house on the Underground Railroad for slaves seeking freedom from slavery. Slaves would have been hidden in the tavern through underground tunnels until it was safe to reach the Ellensburg docks in what is now Madison, Ohio, to eventually cross Lake Erie into Canada. It has also been rumored that a series of tunnels used by escaped slaves led from the tavern's basement under the Cleveland Buffalo Road to the old Unionville Cemetery, which is now the Colonel Alexander Harper Memorial Cemetery right across the street. Also during this time, Lake County, Ohio was known to be a county where no freedom seeker would be captured and returned to slavery. A well-documented account of this occurred in the summer of 1843, known as the County Line Road Incident, when Milton Clark, a freedom seeker from Kentucky, was in Madison, Ohio with his brother Lewis to give a lecture on the horrors of slavery and participated in an anti-slavery rally. While in town, Milton was discovered by slave catchers and kidnapped to be taken back to his Kentucky plantation owner. As word spread about Milton's capture, the local community rallied together and formed a mob in front of the old tavern, causing Milton's eventual escape. 
the slave catchers were charged with assault, and Milton escaped to Canada. After that, the local abolitionists vowed that no runaway slave would ever be captured and returned to a life of slavery in Lake County, Ohio. Years later, when Harriet Beecher Stowe lodged at the Unionville Tavern on her way to Buffalo, she heard the Clarks brothers' story about the County Line Road incident. Many believe that the character George Harris in her famous 1852 novel, Uncle Tom's Cabin, was based on Milton Clark. There is also an account that Harriet Beecher Stowe actually met and learned of the story from Lewis Clark himself, who had written a book in 1846 on his and his brother's experiences, and after being so impressed by Clark's story, she created the character George Harris for her book. So Stowe's coming to the old tavern may have been to trace and experience the location of the County Line Road incident herself. By the early 1900s, the tavern became a destination for travelers during the early roadside era. The tavern's traditional fare was welcomed by locals, as well as those traveling along the Yellowstone Trail, from the nation's northeast corridor to the west. The Unionville Tavern, functioning as an inn and travel destination, did not last long though. After a decade-long close, the tavern was acquired by new owners, Holda and Arthur Fritz who restored and reopened the old tavern around 1926. The Fritzes owned the old tavern from 1925 to 1946. During the Fritzes' ownership, the old tavern became famous for its corn fritters, which were added to the menu. It was a crowd favorite made from locally grown corn, accompanied by local Ohio maple syrup, and served with every meal. Additionally, the Fritzes were also well known for establishing the many wonderful flower gardens at the tavern that remain to this day. Which brings us to the summer of 1929, when the National Air Show debuted in Cleveland, Ohio. Downtown Cleveland commemorated the National Air Show coming to town by partnering with the Cleveland Plain Dealer and having an inaugural flower pageant parade. The parade had a multitude of participants with each float made of or decorated with beautiful flowers. The old tavern is believed to have had a float in the parade, but the precise details remain unknown. Nonetheless, the old tavern won a trophy in both the inaugural 1929 and 1931 parades. Take a look at these. The old tavern under the Fritz's ownership continued to provide a place where families gathered and celebrated special occasions. Veterans were received and welcomed back home from their military service, and visitors from all around would travel to, especially for those famous corn fritters. Even Thomas Edison and Henry Ford once graced this fine establishment to enjoy the superb dining. Eventually, the tavern discontinued service as an inn and dedicated its existence as a restaurant and banquet facility, which continued to be a favorite destination for bus tours. In 1973, the tavern was included in the National Register of Historic Places. In 2006, the old tavern's doors closed to the public, and the structure soon fell into disrepair. In 2011, the Unionville Tavern Preservation Society was formed, following the successful Save the Tavern campaign initially sponsored by the Madison Historical Society that reignited interest in the historical significance of the building and created much needed awareness of its condition. In 2014, the Preservation Society acquired the old tavern with assistance from private donations. They soon started work on stabilizing the structure and began the effort of rehabilitating and restoring the old tavern 
so that one day it will shine again and be a top Northeast Ohio destination for years to come. The Old Tavern Preservation Society is engaged in a multi-phase historic preservation project to revitalize the Old Tavern. With funding through a few grant programs, generous contributions and donations from individuals and foundations, they have completed several major construction projects, including replacing the roof, restoring the portico, and repairing a portion of the foundation, among other things. Let's take a sneak peek at some of the work inside and around the premises.
The revitalization of the old tavern goes well beyond the building and grounds. It's also about reintroducing this beautiful place to a whole new generation unaware of its history and charm. The society not only invites surrounding communities, but the world as well to help keep the tavern alive by offering opportunities to engage with its history and spend time on the property through educational programs, volunteer activities, and fundraisers. For more information on the Old Tavern, including viewing upcoming events, fundraisers, and volunteer opportunities, please visit www.oldtavernohio.org. You may also visit their Facebook pages under the names Unionville Tavern and Save the Tavern. And remember, the Old Tavern Preservation Society is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our program. If you like our content, we ask that you give us a thumbs up, a like, share with your friends, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell so you always know when our new content is published. And all of this costs nothing but means a lot to us and keeps us growing. You may also leave us a tip if you choose. The address is provided here on your screen and a link is provided in the description area below. So until next time, everyone, this one is history. <laughs>